Hey everyone, it's Ivan with Kipadger.com here to bring you another gear view. And today, I'm talking layers. This guy right here, which is the K4 Ventum Ultralight Hoodie by Beyond Clothing. Broad strokes, what is it? It is a ultralight hoodie that is both wind resistant and water resistant. So per Beyond's kind of layering guide, this falls in at level four, which is wind and rain layer. So to that end, it does just that. It's basically something that you can scale. So if you have a insulation layer, you can throw this guy on and now you have something that will stop wind and is water repellent. Obviously you don't want to zip this up. To that end, I have absolutely used in that capacity. Something on their kind of like layering guide. It's like mm, basically 45 degrees plus for this layer. I will say I don't think I've ever used this layer when it's been above 40 degrees, but I've definitely put in some time with it. For me personally, this layer is usually used pretty much always in conjunction with some sort of base or insulation layer. So by way of example, this right here, Beast Hoodie by Prometheus Design Works. It's great, it's nice and warm until there is even the slightest breeze. And so it insulates really well and it breathes really well. And consequently, if you get any wind, like it'll pull the heat off of you, which is great if you're being active and it's cold and there's no wind, then you can, yeah, it'll keep you warm. But if you end up having wind or any type of rain, snow, something along those lines, not the best. So I can throw this really lightweight shell over and it'll keep me insulated. Or the other way I have absolutely used it a bunch is using this layer. This is like a relatively heavy kind of 100% merino. I believe it's made by Icebreaker. And it has a really athletic hood, like zips up and pretty much hugs your head and sleeves are long, has thumb holes, so you can basically, it'll stay in place during active movement. Again, when the temperature starts to drop and you're doing something really active, this does a great job. Like I've used this backpacking, especially when it's really cold, even when there's like snow on the ground, this will do a good job. A lot of different ways to regulate your temperature mechanically. So you can either have the hood on or you can have the hood off, or if it's really cold, you can even have a beanie on. And then if you start to get too hot, you can mechanically vent, like unzip it and it is a full zip. So you can even unzip the entire thing and have it open like your chest exposed if you're really pushing it when it's really cold. And usually I'll wear this when it's really cold. But if it starts snowing or you get the wind picking up, again, does not do good in wind. So I'll pull this layer out. Actually used this combination when I was going a little adventure with Bill Rapier, as well as Jay Kovac of Hoback Knives and yeah, Snowshoe Adventure. Going like pretty much straight up the side of this mountain. We're trying to get to a peak. Didn't make it to the summit, had to turn around before we made it there. Cause in part the sun had just set and it was time to turn around. Came down under headlamps. Ended up using this pairing as far as this layer, as well as the Ventum ultralight hoodie going up because we ended up getting into weather and it started getting windy, started snowing, but still exerting yourself a lot. So I had this rather than my like large like high loft insulation piece. Kind of stats wise on this, a large weight wise, a little over 12 ounces. This happens to be a medium. As far as the material, it's made out of 86% nylon and 14% spandex. So your material is a four way stretch. Move a little bit in every direction, plenty of room as far as being able to be active and dynamic movements, thing along those lines. 
YKK zippers on each side you have a zippered hand pocket if you want to store something in there and then right here over on the left side you actually have this basically stuff pocket so the entire jacket will actually stuff into this pocket over on the left side so you can one store it without having to have a separate container or just kind of the jacket loose like jammed into something cluttering up your pack or something along those lines but you can pretty much shove the whole thing in here and once it is in here you can also double as a pillow which is kind of handy if you take this thing out in the back country and honestly having something of this size it's really nice to just be able to throw in your backpack and have that extra layer if you run in inclement weather while you're outdoors a couple other things to note one thing that is nice is it has basically partial elastic around the cuffs so when you put it over pretty much in the insulation layer it seals up pretty good with respect to kind of wind coming in and there are zipper pulls if that's something that you do like on both of those hand warmer pockets as far as where does this fit in honestly i think it's great for exactly what it was designed for basically a wind and light kind of rain snow layer that you can scale up whatever you happen to already be wearing this is not insulated at all if you just put it on over a t-shirt and it's kind of cold you're probably going to be cold again zero insulation consequently though it actually dries out really quick if and when this ends up getting wet because you're wearing it in rain something along those lines for the purpose i've used it for basically scaling some sort of insulation layer especially like when i'm really active as far as like hiking up mountains with especially that base layer that i use that uh all merino wool one with that little hood it does great because i can mechanically vent that if i need to take the hood off whatever and this piece pairs wonderfully with it because that is terrible if the wind comes up and this immediately lets me basically use that piece which is a essentially like an active insulation layer and this lets me stretch it way further than i otherwise would be able to with respect to wind as well as rain things along those lines if you want to pick one up usually about 127 dollars come in at a bunch of colors this obviously being black i believe they also have a gray kind of a navy blue I want to say kind of a greenish and then they also actually have it in woodland camo if you want to do that too but if you have any experience with one let me know it's been for you and as always thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com look forward to seeing you next time